You Awaken in Razor Hill This was a story told on a forum which takes place in World of Warcraft, and is kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure thing. The story itself was written by Alex Leventon, and takes suggestions from the forum it was ran on as part of the story itself. So basically, he was trying to tell a story, and then people would type in suggestions of what the main character should do next. And then the author tried his best to work it into the story, which usually just involves the main character doing a whole bunch of random and pointless stuff, which is probably why the story became so popular. And Blizzard even added the main character from the story to the game. Just a few notes of this story, it takes place during Wrath of the Lich King, so keep that in mind for when they talk about their hunter skills and stuff. So, without further ado, let's get into chapter one. You are an orc hunter and your name is Ted Nugget. You feel this is an exceptionally clever name, but nobody ever seems to get the joke. You have a cat for a pet. His name is Scratch Fever. You feel this is also an exceptionally clever name. Nobody ever gets this joke, either. You are level 80. Scratch Fever is also level 80. You do not remember how you came to be logged out of Razor Heel, but the place looks deserted. There are no NPCs in sight, and your track humanoids, which is currently active, is turning up completely blank. Scratch Fever seems agitated. His happiness is getting low, and you don't have any meat or fish to feed him. You only have 50 bullets left for your gun. To the north is the road to Orgrimmar. It travels along the base of a short, narrow, redstone canyon. To the south is the little troll village you never remember the name of. To the east is Razor Hill's large central building. To the west is a primitive, stampede earth path leading out into the red rock desert of Duratar. Alt F4. I'm sorry, I don't know how to Alt F4. Scratch Fever is getting antsy. He paws plaintively at your leg, clearly getting very hungry. It will be dark soon. Feed leg to Scratch Fever. But if you feed Scratch Fever your leg, how will you walk? You're wasting time and Scratch Fever isn't getting any less hungry, nor any less agitated. He keeps looking around with sudden, jerking motions, like he is trying to keep everything in sight at once. You had assumed this would be part of his normal idle animations, but he's doing it a lot more frequently than usual. You had expected by now that the NPCs would have respawned, had they all been wiped out by an alliance raid. But this doesn't seem to be the case. Razor Hill remains completely empty, save for yourself and Scratch Fever. Devise more meaningful methods of communication with Scratch Fever, so you can ask him what the fuck he wants. You sit down and make a concerted, meaningful attempt to teach Scratch Fever how to speak in American Sign Language. But his lack of thumbs frustrates the two of you so thoroughly you give up and he goes back to whimpering quietly and pawing at your leg. It is of course well known that careless talk costs lives, but the full scale of the problem is not always appreciated. For instance, at the exact moment you said Alt F4, a freak wormhole opened in the fabric of space-time continuum and carried your words far, far back in time, across almost infinite reaches of space to a distant galaxy where strange and warlike beings were poised on the brink of a frightful, interstellar battle. The two opposing leaders were meeting for the last time. A dreadful silence fell across the conference table as the commander of the Vrhogs, represented in his black, jeweled battle shorts, gazed lovely at the Gugurunt leader squatting opposite him in a cloud of green, sweet-smelling steam, as a million sleek and horribly beweaponed star cruisers poised to unleash electrical death at his single word of command the Verkulk challenged his vile enemy to take back what he had said about his mother. The creature stirred in its sickly, broiling vapor, and at the very moment the words Alt F4 drifted across the conference table. Unfortunately, in the Verkulk tongue, this was the most dreadful insult imaginable, and there was nothing for it but to wage terrible war for centuries. Eventually, the error was detected, but over 250,000 worlds, their peoples and cultures perished in the Holocaust you have destroyed most of a small galaxy. Please pick your words with greater care. Wash off the shovel tusk musk you had applied to your leg earlier, stand up briskly, and search for clues. Ask Scratch Fever what the matter is. You use the very last of your water to wash the shovel tusk musk off your leg. There, that is much better. You now no longer smell like the aftermath of a moose orgy. Scratch Fever stops clawing at your leg, which was becoming extremely painful. 
You ask Scratch Fever what the problem is, but his skill in American Sign Language is extremely low. It appears he signed Thermal Donkey Operator, but you're not sure. Scratch Fever gained one skill in American Sign Language. His skill is now 3 out of 450. He could simply be saying that he is extremely hungry, which is very likely, as his happiness is well below 50%. You begin to search for clues as to the odd disappearance of the total NPC population of Razor Hill. Utilizing your keen eyes and heightened senses, you are able to track much faster and more efficiently than the finest blue tick Georgian bloodhound. Unfortunately, this doesn't help you much at all, as there are no clues here whatsoever. Razor Hill is a ghost town. All the shops and homes are vacant, meals left resting on tables with steam still rising from them. You find evidence of jobs and activities in mid-completion, as though the NPCs hard at work simply despawned all at once. The sun is beginning to set. It will be dark soon. Feed a leftover meal to Scratch Fever and cast a glyph men pet at the same time. Scratch Fever is reluctant to eat the abandoned meal, but you stuff it down his throat until he stops complaining. His happiness increased, but as Scratch Fever was thoroughly creeped out by the whole somebody was eating this right before the world swallowed them up thing, it does not increase by much. You cast a glyphed men pet on Scratch Fever to supplement this, and it seems to do the job. Scratch Fever's happiness is now at 75%, and he is no longer giving you this sad, kitty, hungry now face. Head north to Orgrimmar to report the disappearance of the NPCs. The war chief must be informed of this at once. You whistle for Bear Guard, your trusted warg steed, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Neither is Shamus, your black war kodo, or Mr. Puffins, your ravisaur. All of your mounts are gone. Looks like you're on foot. You head out along the north path towards Orgrimmar. You were on the first leg of the journey through a long red rock canyon towards the great horde capital of Orgrimmar. To either side of you, unscalable red rock cliff faces box you in, keeping you firmly on the winding path. Track Humanoids, which is still active, is blank. Scratch yourself freely, since no one's there to give disapproving looks. Sweet, sweet privacy. Oh yes. Get boat. You can't imagine what you'd do with a boat, as you're in the desert, but you resolve yourself to keep this firmly in mind when you next encounter a boat. You will attempt to get it. Stop tracking Humanoids and start tracking beasts. Now that's interesting. Duratar may be a sandy bowl of monotony, and scorpions, and all the women may be too stuck up to go with any guy with less than four pieces of Relentless, but the words Desolate Wasteland had never, in its entire history, ever been applied until the moment you swapped tracking. Right now, you should be tracking no less than 30 assorted pigs, dinosaurs, and scorpions. You can't even find a single critter. Scratch Fever, who is privy to your tracking, is thoroughly creeped the fuck out. Mount Scratch Fever, ignoring both his protests and the fact when you mount up, your pet disappears. You toss a pebble to distract Scratch Fever's attention and then hurl yourself bodily on his back with a lusty roar. Luckily, you've had some experience with wrestling with wildcats. Wink wink. You quickly rose to the equation, nudge nudge, and successfully mount Scratch Fever's. You don't actually have sex with him though. Scratch Fever gained skill, Novus Mount. Ted Nugget gained one skill in Animal Husbandry. Gallop toward Orgrimmar with an eye out for any tracked beasts. You continue northward, scratching less with an eye out, and more, WTF, where is everything, for even one beast anywhere within the umbrage of your keen eye and heightened senses. You thought you saw something for a moment, but it turned out to be a small rock. You are approaching the junction in the canyon. Straight ahead lays Orgrimmar and the Warchief, who must be informed of this at once. To the east lies another pathway that cuts through you know to be Harpy Roost, and will eventually take you to the sea, or to the Zeppelin stand leading to Undercity and Gromgall. Inform the War Chief of this at once. There is no time to dally about with the lustful, bare-breasted harpies and their soft, feathery legs. The War Chief must be informed of this at once. You spur Scratch Fever onwards, past the junction and northward, emerging from the canyon walls, and oh Jesus fuck the world's gone. Scratch Fever screeches to a halt at the edge of the sudden and extraordinarily steep cliff that you are absolutely positive was never there before. Ever. You would have remembered something like this. Where there was once a great red rock canyon in the looming spine towers of Orgrimmar, your beloved home is now a gaping sunk hole of undaulting space. 
you gaze deeply into the abyss and remember something about how it's supposed to gaze back into you. But you are not seeing any fucking eyes down there, man. It's just nothing. Nothing, and something worse than nothing. It's as if though the world beyond this point has just been severed, cut completely away with a very sharp knife, and left to fall into nothingness. You have no idea how you're going to inform the war chief of this.